Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to another Trick or Treat Horror Fest. I, of course, DJ Surreal, Descent Sundays. Today we're going to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and we're going to talk about the 2003 remake, not the 2012 Abomination. That's for another day. Don't watch that one. It's shit. 2012 is bad, just saying. Okay, so 2003 remake, before we get into the review, of course, you got your movie trailer. I really love this remake. Um, part of it is because of the cast. Uh, one of the cast members who actually plays the sheriff, R. Lee Emery, is epically fantastic. Um, he does an amazing job of being very creepy and there's this one really intense scene where um, he, the sheriff makes one of the kids get back into the car where the hitchhiker uh, and sit where the hitchhiker committed suicide and he forces him to basically tell him what happened um, and reenact what happened in the scene and the scene is just really intense. Um, both actor, actors do a phenomenal job and it's very um, uncomfortable and emotionally moving. Uh, apparently the actor who played um, the kid recounting the story actually in between takes uh, forced himself to vomit in order to keep like basically his um, demeanor and his physical like the skin, his skin color and all that the same. I mean, that's fucking dedication. You know what I mean? Like if you're throwing up several times in between takes to like, you know, keep the scene momentum going, like, wow. Um, also, I don't know. I really love who they cast to play Leatherface. I think he did a really great job. Uh, I also really like the fact that, I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, but I, the one thing I do remember is like, the chick running down the road, screaming her head off. It's like, you're running down the road, forest on either side of you, but you run down the straight road where he can catch you. And I was happy to see that in the remake, they, you know, mixed it up a bit. And um, Jessica Biel's character actually shows some some cleverness in, in trying to get away from Leatherface, uh, which is, is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> the... Uh, the movie also has some a couple of scenes that were just, ugh, you know, like, ugh. like there's this one shot of them going down the stair of Leatherface carrying um, the body down the stairwell, and she's like, or I guess not body because she's she's still alive, but she's like clawing at the wall, and her finger breaks, and I'm like, oh, it's just oh, it's just an uncomfortable moment, and then you know at the end of the film where the police officers are doing like the found footage part of the film where the police officers are going down the stairs, and it's just it's just really creepy, like the whole ambiance of it was just ugh. And there's like these hanging hooks everywhere with like body parts and bloodiness and and yeah it was just i really appreciated how they presented the house in the film it was um it really sort of added to the the creepiness factor and the feel of the film and the fact that you know the whole story is supposed to be based off ed gein who you know was rumored to decorate his home with body parts it's just more appropriate that they they chose um, the decor and the lighting the way they did and it just really adds to to the feeling of the film. Um, overall I would say the 2003 remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a definite treat and um, it is probably one of my favorites, favorite renditions of the film. Thank you so much for joining me and join me tomorrow for another Halloween Trick or Treat Horror Fest review.
a whole bunch of cuts of me going. <laughs> okay. Great. Sorry, I just my thought train jumped off to Hills Have Eyes for a second, apparently, which we're not doing right now. We're doing Texas Chainsaw. Look for me because I'm pretty sure it's in my notes. <laughs> the guy's name. 